haven't done one of these in a while. Every now and then, I will do what I call an article episode. If you're a new listener, I see an article and I save it for a rainy day or say a holiday weekend when I think listening might be a little lower than usual and I want to hit the beach or something. And I kind of go through the article, but I do it cold. I don't look at it in advance because I like to go on a journey with you. Today's article is from Looper.com. It is entitled The 98 Best Comedy Movies of All Time. Not sure why it's 98, but let's see what we find and, you know, let's react together. Looper says, here are 98 movies stretching back to Hollywood's early years and all the way up to the near present. In no particular order, these are the best comedy movies ever made. So in no particular order, Wayne's World, love it. Don't act like you've never sat in the car singing Bohemian Rhapsody or done Wayne's World stuff. That's a good one. National Lampoon's Animal House, uh, one of my favorites. I mean, I was young when I saw it, but boy, the scene at the window with the ladder and the boobs, that makes an imprint on you. Plus, Shout, how great is Shout? Monty Python on the Holy Grail, another movie that if I watch, I will walk around quoting for three days and annoy you. This is a good list so far. Dumb and Dumber. Not my thing, but I get people like it. Fletch with Chevy Chase before everybody hated Chevy Chase. Good one. Groundhog Day. Bill Murray. Who doesn't like that? Election. Never saw it. Am I a bad person? Oh, brother, where art thou? Don't even know what this is. What is this? The epic frivolity from quirky filmmakers Joel and Ethan Cohen is an adaptation of Homer's ancient Greek epic poem, The Odyssey, except it's set in the American South during the Great Depression. George Clooney stars in this from the year 2000. Gross point blank. I saw this movie with my now wife, then girlfriend, same lady. We didn't like it. It's a movie about a dude returning home for his 10-year high school reunion. I didn't like that movie, no. Dazed and Confused, set in 76, following a group of students in Austin, Texas, as they celebrate after the last day of school. That is pretty solid. I think my son is living that movie right now. Bowfinger with Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin is on this? Really? Bowfinger is a very funny movie about how movies get made, or rather how they could if the dream and desire to make them as strong enough. Bobby Bowfinger claims to have cast big time movie star Kit Ramsey, played by Eddie Murphy in an action flick, but he hasn't done that. So he just secretly follows the guy around and uses a lookalike for close ups. Yeah, actually, I did see that. That I don't. Is that the 98th funniest movie of all time, though? It's OK. Some like it hot. Jack Lemmon, Tony Curtis, Marilyn Monroe. How can you go wrong? Idiocracy probably is the greatest movie of all time. Not that it's that funny, not that it's that good, but have you watched Idiocracy lately? It predicted everything. You, my friend, are living in the Idiocracy right now. Blazing Saddles, so many good jokes there, including one we won't say. Blazing Saddles, Gene Wilder, what a great film, Mel Brooks. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, sure, everybody quotes that left and right. Jackass, the movie, not my kind of thing. The Gold Rush apparently is a Charlie Chaplin movie. Chaplin portrays the little tramp as a prospector in Alaska in the Klondike Rush of the 1890s. Can't say I've seen that one. 1925. Ed Wood. That's a cool pick. Tim Burton, 1994. A Fish Called Wanda. It's a nice movie, but it was like I really wanted Python stuff and there were enough Pythons in it. And I had a crush on Jamie Lee Curtis, so it kind of worked. But is that a top 98 movie? Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, don't act like you don't quote it all the time, don't act like Dr. Evil is not iconic, so that's really good. Deadpool, good solid pick here, love it. The 40-year-old version, Steve Carell, sure, that's awesome, this is a good list. Back to the Future, I don't think of it as a comedy, but yeah, it's comedy, it's one of the greatest films ever, I don't know how far up the greatest films ever list it is, but yeah, all right. The General is a silent film by Buster Keaton, 1926. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, again, not my style of comedy. I get that people like Jim Carrey from 1994, but not for me. Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Peter Sellers is awesome. If I had to list Peter Sellers' movies, I don't know if I'd pick this one. I know it's iconic from 1964 with Stanley Kubrick, but I have other Peter Sellers' movies I like more. Office Space, people have started to really move Office Space up the list. That is a movie that's aging really well. It came out in 1999. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Steve Martin, John Candy from 1987. Sure, Duck Soup, The Marx Brothers, 1933. Sure, Shaun of the Dead is wonderful. Have you never seen Shaun of the Dead? Simon Pegg plays Shaun, a London electronic store worker going nowhere fast. He's so wrapped up in his own misery that it takes him a long time to notice that his city is in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. It is terrific Shaun of the Dead from 2004. 
Step Brothers, same thing. I get that people like it. It's just not my kind of humor. Will Ferrell, John C. Riley from 2008. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Now I'm just going to walk around the rest of the day giggling about Biggest Dickus. Continuing Looper's list of the best comedy movies of all time, in no particular order, they say. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is next up from 1998, Steve Martin, Michael Caine. I guess they really like Steve Martin on this. The Hangover, boy, when The Hangover first came out and I wasn't yet sick of Ed Helms and he hadn't ruined The Office yet, boy, The Hangover was fantastic. 2009, that movie's only 99 minutes long. School of Rock with Jack Black, okay. Sausage Party makes the list from 2016, 89 minutes. Seth Rogen, Kristen Wiig, Michael Sarah. Haven't seen that one. Bring Up Baby, Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn from 1938. The Lego Movie, oh my goodness. The Lego Movie was so awesome. My son wanted to see it, and I was like, the Lego Movie? And we went on a Sunday night, which is not a time we normally go to the theater, and I loved that film, and then walked around singing Everything is Awesome for about a week, because I tend to do that. Napoleon Dynamite, 2004. South Park Movie from 99. Pee-wee's Big Adventure, I never got into Pee-wee at all. Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. Billy Madison. Oh, if you've listened to this podcast, you know how much I love Adam Sandler movies. It's shocked it took us this long to get to one. I'm sure there's going to be more. Now, as much as I am not a fan of Adam Sandler, I am a fan of Andy Samberg. Pop star Never Stop Popping makes this list. That is surprising to me. Best in Show? Sure. Didn't that win an Oscar? Bridesmaids from 2011. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Boy, if you're of a certain age, and I sure am, that is one of your favorite movies of all time. The Muppet Movie, same response. The Muppet Movie came out in 79. I saw it as a young lad, and it still holds up. The Producers, more Gene Wilder, more Mel Brooks. That's from 1967. Trading Places, back from the era of Eddie Murphy could star in anything. I guess that's still true, and it would still be good. That's from 1983. I like this next film a lot. Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. I forget that Sasha Baron Cohen is in it. Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, What a cast there. Like, if I told you Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, and Sasha Baron Cohen were going to star in a movie about this podcast, you would go, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Galaxy Quest, gotta love Galaxy Quest. It is the best of all the Star Trek movies. Raising Arizona, I'm just looking at the picture of Nicolas Cage and laughing, so that's a good one. That's from 1987. Wow. Caddyshack, my son is caddying this summer. And I like wanted to be like, we should watch Caddyshack together. And I, for real, last night pulled up a trailer on YouTube for Caddyshack to try and get him into it. But a a movie trailer from 1980 and a movie trailer from 2021 are not the same thing. He would be like, this is so boring. You want me to watch this? But boy, get me near a golf course and I will just go Noonan. So let's stop there today because, you know, holiday weekend and I'm only like halfway down the list. That's your comedy news for today. Follow the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. And guess what we're going to do tomorrow, kids?